everybody, it's GTA Aviation back here with another video. This video is the fictional airport update number two, featuring several new models to airport updates and videos, and the brand new Extended B Concourse. So a quick little tour about the Extended B Concourse, which we will go into view right now. Uh, I extended out three gates here from the old, I demolished the last two gates, and extended out the extension piece of three gates. You guys voted for three mainline gates, and so, yeah. But anyways, that is the new extension. We got a lot of cool stuff to go over in this video, featuring one new route for the airport update. So I really hope you guys are excited for it, and we will jump straight into this. So we'll start off here with this Southwest 737-700 in the Florida One livery. Just pushing back out of gate Bravo 3 here, and he is currently pushing back for a flight nonstop out to Baltimore today after arrival and from uh, Houston Hobby earlier. And we will jump straight on to the next two aircraft. Okay, right here we have this Southwest 737-800. This is in the heart livery, obviously, featuring split scimitars. He is getting on some bags and passengers for a flight out to uh, Fort Lauderdale, which is our new flight on one daily 737-800. So Fort Lauderdale is very nice to see how we have a new route here for Southwest and hopefully the passenger numbers will start expanding on that so we can add more aircraft and more routes. But anyways, here Southwest 737 800 starts out to Fort Lauderdale. This is currently one day, one daily flight. Okay, next up here we have a Southwest 737 800 in the Canyon Blue livery. Split scimitars too. This is an NG model, obviously, and there is uh, the cleaning crew and the bus hopping onto the back of the aircraft there. He's also as well boarding up passengers for a flight out to Nashville after his arrival from Nashville earlier today. Nashville's been upgraded to one 737-800 for Southwest and of course a one daily flight. All right, next up back there at gate uh, Bravo 4, we have a WestJet 737-800 in the 100th Boeing 737-NG livery, which is currently loading up passengers, bags, and the cleaning crew is about ready to hop on board. This aircraft will be making a flight out to Calgary. So sad news about WestJet, um, their Edmonton flight from KGDA here uh, has been discontinued until further notice due to current COVID-19 outbreaks. Um, so yeah, we just currently have one daily WestJet 737-700 and 737-800. They'll, they'll, they'll flip flop every day. They're kind of split in the load, but anyways, uh, service out to Calgary today. We do have a very, very, very important vote in the description this time. We do have two open. We actually, I will go over the tour of the new gate arrangements later in the video, but we do have two open gates for miscellaneous airlines. So that's why I am deciding to bring a new aircraft or a new airline, excuse me, to this airport update. Vote will be in the description. Uh, make sure that when you select the airline, select two, just so we can have more votes kind of coming in for the, um, for the aircraft. So anyways, yep. Yeah, and we will move on to the next airplane. This is definitely a first for this airport. Here we have this FedEx 757-200, serves out to Memphis. Uh, he's doing the round trip out to Memphis, which is one daily FedEx 757. Okay, here we have the American 737-800 AirCal Retro livery. If you guys didn't see me unbox this, go check it out, massive unboxing number one. That was an epic video. Anyways, here we go. We have the AirCal 737-800 on, uh, on the right there. This aircraft will be heading out to Charlotte Douglas, and he has arrived in from Charlotte earlier. More sad news about American here at KGDA, this airport. Um, American has suspended their Miami service until further notice. So we just have currently our two routes, DFW and Charlotte. And then on the left back there, we have that American Eagle E-170 serves out to DFW today and he has arrived in from DFW earlier today. Both of those flights are currently two daily. All right, then back there now, we have that Delta E-170, serves out to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson. Currently have two daily Delta Connection E-170s, and this is Delta's new gate over here, kind of by the United. And then speaking of which, here we have this United Express CRJ 550. Uh, this is gonna be heading out to Chicago O'Hare and has arrived in from Chicago O'Hare earlier today. The Houston Intercontinental and Washington Dulles services have been suspended until further notice as well. So we currently just have this two daily CRJ 550 and E-175. Again, they're both split in the load. 
uh, at to Chicago O'Hare. So that is our only flight for United at the moment. We will go ahead and get a nice conclusion view for this airport. All right, so that does conclude the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please make sure to vote in the description. Um, that is very important, and I love hearing the answers from you guys. So please vote in the description. New airline probably will come to this airport depending on how you guys decide to vote. So your options are listed on the vote. I believe they are Alaska Airlines, Air Canada, JetBlue, and Frontier. So you can vote out of those for the new airline. So. Anyways, that will conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.